Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. I'm back with some bad boy mad objection handling here with my boy, Ryan Brunner. What's going on, everybody? Guys, check this out. Obviously, you guys know Ryan. You might have seen previous videos that I put out with him on overcoming objections or role playing. Bottom line is, I got seven good ones for you today, okay? Let's not make it too long. Let's get some paper. Let's get a pen. Let's write it down. Let me go over what I'm going to go over with you. And then I'll have my man right here. Let's see if he breaks and we'll have him overcome him, okay? All right. So, number one, this is going to be objection handling 101. I picked seven. This is going to be, I was only interested in the car you just sold. How many people say, I was only interested in the car you just sold on the phone or on the lot? Guess what? He's going to handle it, okay? Um, I'm just wasting my time. I'm not here to buy anything. We hear that all the time, right? Just, just wasting my time. Boom. I'm going to show you how to handle it. I like the car, but the miles are too high. This means that there's not a switch unit, okay? Mm -hmm. Guy comes in, maybe he came in to look at that car, just decides, hey, you know what? I think the miles are too high. I want something a little less on the miles. You don't have a switch unit. How do you close them and get them to take that car? We're gonna teach you how to do it, okay? All right, thanks for the test drive, but I'm just looking. All right, you know, give me your card. Okay, he's gonna handle that. My bank offers a better rate. This is gonna be one where like, we can't match your rate, okay? Your bank can truly get a better rate. How do we get that customer to pay a higher rate with us? We're going to give you a word track to use, okay? All right, number six, I don't want to pay 21%. Hey, by the way, that could be, I don't want to pay 15%. Yeah. Bottom line is someone saying, I don't want to pay a rate that high. Okay, take this, and we're going to use, I don't want to pay 21%, but we're going to use this, I don't want to pay a rate that high. Next mm -hmm. time someone says that, my man's going to give you the word track for it. Oh. I've taught him this, everything he's going to hit you with, I've taught them, obviously, role playing is what keeps you sharp. How quick can a salesman go rusty? Sometimes one day, sometimes like that. You gotta roll, ta roll play at least 20 minutes every day, okay? All right, and I don't want a car payment, my car's paid off. That's a good one, right? I don't want a car payment, my car's paid off. I'm gonna do something for you before we start. I'm gonna give you my cell phone right here. It's 918-210-0254. You see that? 918-210-0254. Right there, Andy Elliott. You guys can shoot me a text message. Yes, that's my real cell phone. It's right here. You can text me. Guess what? Anything you need, I got you. You need some help. You're getting in the car business. You've been in for a little bit. You're not making as much money as you want. You're crushing it. You're doing great. You just want to do extraordinary. Yep. Reach out to me. I'll help you, okay? With that being said, let's go ahead and hit my man right now with some objections. Let's get the ball rolling. Okay, cool. So, hey guys, it's Andy. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, please like and subscribe below. Also, click on the link below. Join me in a free strategy session. I'd love to help you set up a game plan to crush it. Let's get back to the video. Uh, hey, Ryan, man, look, you know, I'm looking around, dude. Honestly, I was just only interested in the car that you just sold. Yeah, so when we put these cars on the front line, they sell very fast. The car you're actually asking about, it had some scratches on the rear door panel. If it was available, I would have told you, it's probably not your sharpest pick. But let me ask you this, if I could show you a newer vehicle with lower miles that was actually in a better price range, would that upset you at all? No, that wouldn't upset me. Great, so you're pretty much open, you just wanna find something similar and get a great deal, am I right? Yeah, that's right. Fantastic, well, I got hundreds just like them. I'll walk through them with you, and in the end, it's completely your decision. Is that fair? Hey, good job, dude. Hey, that's a nice word track. That's a good track. one, baby. That's a nice one. By the way, could we use that same word track on the phone? Yep, absolutely. On yes. the lot or on the phone? Hey, do me a favor. I want you to do this, okay? Slow down. Okay. Okay? Word tracks are meant to be tattooed on your heart. Am I right? Right. Okay, well, if I hang you upside down and I'm waterboarding, I'm slapping them around, I'm doing whatever, I'm like, spell your name, give me your address. He can say it. <laughs> But most people can't handle objections that way because they really don't know it because they're winging it. Yeah. Would you do me a favor? Slow it down. With, just, just slow down the word track. I'm, I, I was only interested in the car you just sold. Say it okay. to me. So when we put these cars on the front line, they sell very fast. The car you were calling about or asking about actually had some scratches on the rear door panel. Look, if it was available, I would have told you it's probably not your sharpest pick. But let me ask you this, if I could show your newer vehicle with lower miles that was actually in a better price range, would that upset you at all? And they're always gonna say no. Or they say, yeah, that would upset me. Yeah. No, they're gonna say no, and then you say? Great, so you're pretty much open. You just wanna find something similar and get a great deal, am I right? Right, there you go, that's it. That's yeah. how you overcome it. I got two yeses. The cell can't be closed until it's open. Now I've just reopened their mind. Yeah. There's a word track, that's the power of training. All right, let's move to the next one. 
Okay, hey man, you know, Ryan, little dude. Hey, so Ryan, so let's say I'm walking on the line. Hey, let's say I'm walking out of service. All right, I'm walking out of service, okay? I'm walking out to one of the vehicles and Ryan walks up to me and says, hey, what's up, Andy? I say, hey man, Ryan, I'm just wasting my time, man. I'm not here to buy anything, got my car in service. Yeah, I'd say, look, Andy, obviously there's a thousand different things you could be doing other than looking at vehicles today. You being here checking these vehicles out lets me know you're not 100% satisfied with the vehicle you drove up in. What is one thing, just one thing, you could change about your current vehicle you don't like right now? No, probably that it don't have a sunroof if there was one thing. Great, so if we could find one with the sunroof and actually keep your payment about the same, is that something you'd consider today? If same payment? Yeah. Oh, sales open. Boom. See that? Hook them. Guys, I'm wasting time. I'm not here to buy. He says, hey man, I get it totally. I understand, by the way, we always agree first, right? Look, if you don't agree with the customer, we don't have anywhere to go. Yeah. Hey, I understand, totally get it. However, right, however, however. if you were here, right, there's lots of things that you could be doing. It shows me that you're not 100% satisfied with the vehicle that you grow, drove up in. I mean, it just shows me that you're not because you wouldn't be here if you were. You might be 99% satisfied, but you're not 100%. And by the way, if you're gonna make a payment, would it rather be on a car that you're 100% satisfied with or a yeah. car that you're 99% satisfied with? I would probably choose the 100% satisfied with if I had to make a payment and you're making a payment, right? <laughs> okay, cool. So I was just saying, right? Let's figure out what it is. If there's one thing you could change about your vehicle that you currently have now, what would that one thing be? I'm gonna let him talk. I'm gonna fish out those answers. Yeah. And guess what? I'm gonna create a pain point, push on it, and close them. Boom. You see that? The cell can't be opened until, or the cell can't be closed until it's open. You gotta right. open it, okay? All right, number three, guys. And by the way, we're kind of teaching you in between the word tracks so you fully understand them, and then you get the psychology of selling, okay? All right, and you get how, how powerful word tracks are during objection handling, okay? Hey, I like the car, Ryan. I mean, I'm, you know what? I just, I'm not sure I wanna take one with that many miles on it. Yeah, I understand how the miles can seem a little bit high, but let me ask you this. I mean, if you drove both vehicles for a three year period, which one would you end up owing more money on? The one with lower miles or the one with a bit higher miles? Well, probably the one with lower miles because it would cost more money. Yeah, so going with our vehicle today with a little higher mileage, the biggest part of the depreciation cycle, Andy, has already been taken into consideration. So when you look at the bigger picture, Andy, going with our vehicle today with just a little bit higher mileage is definitely the smartest way to go if you're looking to save some big money now and later. Mm, that makes sense. See that? Hey guys, I get it, man. Look, my car's got 80,000 miles on it. Let me ask you this. You said 80,000 is too high. What kind of miles would you like it to have? I'm just asking. Well, I'd like it to have 50. Okay, cool. Hey, let's say if we took a 50,000 mile car and the 80,000 mile car, mm -hmm. truck, car, whatever they're looking at, right? And you say, and you drove them for a three year period of time, right? Mm -hmm. In three years, you're gonna trade them both back in, right? Whichever one you owned. Mm -hmm. Which one do you think you'd owe more money on? The one with 80,000 miles? No, because you got a better deal on that today because the biggest part of the depreciation has already been taken into consideration. It would be the one that you bought with 50,000 miles. But guess what? At the end of three years, do they both have 100,000 miles on them? Yes, they do. And in your trade cycle, when's the last time that you went and talked to a salesperson and he actually talked to you about the purchase you were making today and the, tr the future trade cycle when you're trading it back in, never. So for the first time in your life, you get to understand that you can actually beat the negative equity cycle yeah. by doing business with me on a highly rated vehicle like this with higher miles, mm -hmm. have a lower payment, pay less money for it, and in the end, not be upside down. Exactly. Man, have you ever won the lottery? Have you just did. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Guys, come on. Life is changing forever. We are changing the automotive industry daily. Yeah. This right here, this is the lost art of sales. And so many people try to mock, copy, they don't care. Guys, my training program is teaching salespeople how to go make three to $400,000 a year. You know why? Because I have one motive, it's you. I love you guys. Rock and roll, keep up the training. By the way, hey, if you like the video, right, give me a thumbs up, thumbs up. Also, if you like my man Ryan right here and he's doing a good job, do me a favor. Get, comment below, let him know how he's doing. And by yeah. the way, if you love the role play videos, do me a favor, share it with a friend. Do that for me. It really helps my YouTube ag uh, algorithm, okay? I would ask that for you guys. Hey, help me and I'll continue to help you by putting out tons of free content. Like, subscribe, share it with a friend. Yeah. Rock and roll, guys. I appreciate you, okay? All right, with that being said, um, <clears throat> thanks for the test drive, okay? 
but I'm just looking, Ryan. So I just, I, I literally just got out of this 2018 Toyota Corolla. It's got 30,000 miles. So, hey man, Ryan, I really like the car. Thanks for the test drive, man. But if you could just give us your card, you know, we're just kind of looking. Yeah. Everybody has to start somewhere. First you start with looking, then you find something that you like. Guys, once you find something that you like, it's extremely important to find someone who's gonna make you an amazing deal. Look, that's me, okay? It's not a matter if you're gonna buy, but when you buy. And when you buy is when the deal is right, am I right? Well, you're all right. Exactly, so let me show you a five-minute proposal I guarantee you can't say no to. Follow me inside, this is gonna blow you away. There you go, good job, man. Move through the objection, rock and roll. All right, so this, this is gonna be one right here that all salespeople lock up with, okay? Yeah. And by the way, I see managers lock up with it. If someone's getting a better rate at their bank and you can't match it or beat it, it's just they're gonna get a better rate. When you give them a draft, there's a good chance that they'll end up buying something else and not ever coming back and bringing your check. You know, if you don't get a finance contract and you just get a one pay, they don't have to return. I'm just gonna tell you, you can deliver them in the car all you want, you can't cash that contract. You need a financeable contract, okay? You need to be able to go and say, hey, I get it, you know, our rate's not the best, however, and then handle it with the word track and keep their bank out of it. They might have them going to their bank and their bank says, hey man, I think you're paying a little too much for the car. Yeah. Hey, I didn't think you ruin got enough for yours and ruin the whole deal. Guys, people say, well, I just send it to their bank. Oh, really? How many banks end up ruining deals for us because you got some smart mouth banker out there that's telling us how much they know when they really don't know nothing, they're just running their mouth trying to be cool to their client. Yeah, yeah I'm not interested, okay? Let's close the guy. All right, cool. So hey, so hey, Ryan, listen, man, I love the truck. Mm -hmm. I, I'm okay with the price, um, but my bank, I mean, you said you could get me 599 interest. Um, my bank's gonna get me 499. So I just wanna go see my banker, they're gonna be a better rate, and then I'll come back and do everything. Yeah, so 99% of my clients, just like you, who have great credit, Andy, don't like to put all their eggs in one basket. Look, it's always beneficial to diversify your loans with different institutions. Guys, we use nationwide lenders that report to all three bureaus in all 50 states. It looks much better on your credit, and the slight difference in payment is nearly nothing, especially for you making great income like you do. Okay, good. So do you think I should maybe go to my bank or should I stay here? What should I do? You should diversify your loans with different institutions. That way, when you go to trade your vehicle in, the banks will see, hey, you actually used a nationwide lender instead of just a small local credit union. Like I said, it looks much better on your credit. And whether you're buying a home, buying a boat, whatever whatever you do decide to buy, you know, you're future. never gonna have to allow you know, a financial institution to dictate what you buy in the future. Yeah, because you're gonna have stellar credit. Exactly. Which is why people choose to use us versus their own institutions. A lot of these little banks, guess what happened? Even, uh, they're not in all 50 states. Let me ask you this. So what bank do you use? Oh, ABC Bank. Okay, cool, let me ask you, sir, is ABC Bank in all 50 states? No. No, our, our banks are. I'm just saying at the end of the day, you're gonna buy tons of more stuff in your life, would you agree? Yeah. Okay, so you're a 750, why aren't you an 850? Ah, mm. uh, okay, <laughs> all right. So would you agree you're okay with scaling your credit to a higher level? Would it be worth it to pay a little bit more in payment if you knew you could even get your credit greater? Would that be worth it to you? Yeah. Hey, then guess what, let's pass go, let's wrap this deal up. There you go, guys. Move, 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 move. Get through the objection, get on with the deal, wrap it up. Okay, guys. Six and seven, these are great ones. Six is gonna be awesome. If you do subprime in your store, if you deal with people with damaged credit, less than perfect credit, bad credit, whatever, however you wanna call it, this is a great one. Okay, all right, Ryan. So, hey, whoa, man, gosh, Ryan, what, what is my rate? Ryan goes back, talks to the manager, maybe it's on the paper, says, hey, Andy, your rate's 21%. Hey, maybe it's 15%. This could be used for anything. Change the rate, use the word track. Uh, Ryan, I, I don't want to pay 21%. Yeah, I understand you don't want to pay 21%, Andy, but do you know the only way we're going to fix 21% is you signing right here on the dotted line and starting your credit reestablishment program today so that in a year from now, two years from now, you don't ever have to pay a rate like that ever again in your entire life from today forward. There you go, guys. That's it, That's man. That's simple. That's it. No, yap, yap, yap. Would you please repeat? Hey, Ryan, I don't want to pay a rate that high. Mm -hmm. Look, Andy, I understand you don't wanna pay 21% or that higher rate, but look, the only way we're gonna fix 21% is you signing on the dotted line right now, starting your credit reestablishment program today so that in a year from now or the next vehicle you buy, you don't ever have to pay a rate like that ever again in your entire life from today forward. That's it, guys.
That's it, you memorize that, I promise you. Eight out of 10, you'll lock up, you gave them an answer, yep. and then move through it, okay? So with that being said, do you mind if I got your great rates on everything else you bought for the rest of your life and we start today getting your great credit? Would that be cool? That All great. right, guys, let's rock and roll. <laughs> hey guys, they just bought a new vehicle. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Guys, move through it. Overcome, move through it. Don't stick to the objection. Don't say, so is that okay? Could mm -hmm. we go forward? Can mm -hmm. we do that? Yeah. Is that okay with you? Nah, man, you're the expert. Take the customer through it, okay? Don't stick to the objection. All right, guys, number seven. I don't want a car payment because my car's paid off. By the way, if you like the video and you like everything Ryan has gone through with you, yeah. Ryan is an incredible word track coach. Ryan works for me. I've got four or five savages that work for me. Mm -hmm. They're some of the best coaches in the world. They're my guys. I brought them up from the ground up. They're not trainers. I'm your trainer. They're your coach. Yeah. These guys are products of my training. Mm -hmm. I run them every morning for 20, 25 minutes of role play every single right. day. Before we get in this last objection, I want to give you Ryan's cell phone number. Number. Ryan, what's your cell phone? 760 760 705 705 6391. Guys, that's my direct personal cell phone number. Guys, look right here 760 705 6391. You guys know my cell 918 210 0254. You want to text Andy Elliott? Right here. If you would like Ryan to work with you on word tracks, maybe helping you overcome certain objections and become great, mm -hmm. you're gonna do this. You're gonna shoot him a text, 760-705-6391. Hey Ryan, you know, my name is Tom. I wanna learn how to overcome objections and be yep. great. Where do I start? He'll tell you, I got there you we go. Guys. Okay, all right, let's rock and roll. This is gonna be number seven. Hey Ryan, man, I really like the 18 Toyota Corolla. You know, it's a nice car. But you know, my car's paid off right now. I, I don't really know if I actually want to have a payment. Okay. Yeah. So would you agree that your car would be worth a little bit more money today and less tomorrow? Yeah, so you sure. see, the longer you wait, Andy, the less equity you have in a vehicle. Therefore, the less down payment you have towards a new vehicle and the more time something to go wrong with your current vehicle. And you're probably waiting to get the best deal. Am I right? Yeah. And if having a low payment is important to you, pulling the trigger right now is exactly what will secure that lower payment. Bam, guys. He said pulling the trigger right now is actually what would secure you the lowest payment that you're ever gonna have, mm -hmm. doing it now. Why? Because do you think your car would be worth more today or more tomorrow? Obviously more today. And let me ask you a question. Let's say that you didn't trade it today, you didn't have a payment, but you kept the car tomorrow, mm -hmm. right? Let's just say something did break and you didn't spend $1,000 on it. Let me ask you a question. Do you think your car would become worth 1,000 more? No. You'd potentially find yourself, or and you would find yourself money. spending $1,000, wasting money, and your car's worth whatever it's worth as long as it's running. Yeah. So guess what? You actually end up spending more money, and if you actually spend that money, I mean, that really, in all essence, is a payment, yeah. okay? It's not a monthly payment, it's a fixed payment when your car breaks, it's probably an older model, it's paid off. Yeah. So what that means is, it's not wanting a payment, you're talking about a monthly payment you'd pay to the bank, but we know you do probably have an ownership payment yeah. because you have to pay for it when it breaks because it's probably out of warranty, okay? Exactly. So the fact is, you, stu you still do have a payment, Okay, you work hard for your money, you put your money in the bank. When the money leaves the bank, that's real money spent. Whether the money leaves the bank to go pay for the car in a service shop or go pay for it with the monthly payment, would you agree it's still a payment either way? Yeah, so if you're gonna be making a payment, would you rather be paying it on the older car or the newer one, which one? The newer vehicle. Okay, cool, and doing it today, your car's worth the most money. Well, don't you agree that, that putting that down towards your down payment since you don't have a payment, don't you agree today would actually secure the lowest payment today, pulling the trigger and doing it now? Yes. That makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> Guys, they're all word tracks. I took exactly what he said, because I taught him the word track, but also I can do this with other word tracks, yeah. okay? Like I said, we have almost 500 objections documented right here in the lion's den on everything you get in the car dealerships, okay? Whether it's outside on the lot, whether it's on the phone, taking phone calls, whether it's inside negotiations, um, closing a deal. We cover it from all angles. So guys, number one, I'm grateful for you. I appreciate you. Please you like, guys. subscribe, send it to a buddy. Guys, share this videos with all of your yeah. friends that sell cars and that are in the car business. If you want us to see us and make more role play videos, closing, let us know what you want Comment to see. Below. We'll give it to you. Comment below, guys. Coach, uh, Coach Ryan right here. Crush it, guys. We're creating the most elite salespeople the world has ever seen. Have a great day. See you soon. Hey guys, congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Obviously, you're the determined ones and you guys crush it. You're the one percenters. I just wanna tell you, number one, I appreciate you and anything you need, reach out to me. If you're struggling with anything, leave a comment in the comment section below. I always answer all my own comments. I'll reach out and help you. Also, 
Don't forget to set up a strategy call with me. It's free, it takes 20 minutes. You can click the link below too and you can join me. I'd love to help you make a game plan to crush it. Hope you guys have a great day.